Okay, so let's take a look at this 5e lesson plan guide. And so this is um, something that you're going to want to use to help you interject or incorporate the 5e concepts into your uh, Bethel University lesson template. When you write out your full lesson designs, you're going to want to have identified information related to engagement, explain, explore, elaborate, evaluate, etc. So let's take a look at these questions. In engagement, you want to think of describe how the teacher will capture the student's interest. So how will you engage students and capture their interest? What are you going to do? What kind of questions should the students be asking themselves after the engagement? So think about getting students to engage and then getting them to start asking questions. Exploration or explore. Inside of some of your lessons here, you're going to want to have students exploring. So describe what hands-on or minds-on activities students will be doing inside the lesson. What big idea conceptual questions uh, will, the, will you, the teacher, use to encourage and or focus students' exploration? Explanation. Student explanations should precede introductions of terms or explanations by the teacher. So what questions or techniques will the teacher, you, use to help students connect their exploration to the concept under examination? So when you're thinking about having them explain, these are the things you want to be thinking about. List higher order thinking questions which teachers will use to solicit students' explanations and help them to justify their explanations. So how will you come up with those higher order questions from Bloom's Taxonomy? Elaboration. Describe how students will develop a more sophisticated understanding of the concept. What might students be doing to elaborate on that concept? What vocabulary will be introduced and how will it connect to the students' observations? How will you have them start using that vocabulary as they elaborate? How is the knowledge applied in our everyday lives? And then if we move down to evaluation, how will students demonstrate they have achieved the lesson objectives? So when given a condition and criteria, will they be able to meet that performance component? And this should be embedded throughout the lesson as well as at the end of the lesson, an evaluation. So you should be assessing along the way and having students evaluate and you should be evaluating their progress. And you should be then modifying and adjusting as, as you go. When you uh, complete your lesson design for your first full lesson, you'll want to make sure and include components of these five E's in there. And you want to clearly spell them out so we know what you're trying to do and what you're trying to accomplish and what you're trying to have the students do. I hope this helps you understand more of the five E concept and lesson design and writing uh, lesson objectives as well as developing your own lesson plan.